right, what is going on guys? Gino Checker back in for another video today. First of all, before I actually start the uh, video and the topics that I want to talk about, I'm uh, about to get a haircut in like now. Fresh ass haircut, man. I always make sure to go around every two weeks uh, or two and a half weeks to stay representative and uh, just feel fresh overall. So. Anyways, as of the past weekend, I am now six weeks out for my first ever bodybuilding competition and uh, so far things are still moving pretty well. I already ran two consecutive refeed days in a row, uh, past Saturday and Sunday, to kind of see how my body responds to the carbs and uh, I'll actually put some clips on the screen here right now. It's looking pretty good man, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my body can absorb pretty much a lot of carbs. Now what I did notice is that uh, on the second day, on Sunday, when I ate uh, 500 grams of carbs, I felt a little bit bloated uh, during the day when I was eating the carbs. And as it kind of settled, uh, as I started to relax a little bit, watch some TV, watch some Netflix uh, with my girlfriend, I really noticed that I was getting a lot more vascular and the carbs actually settled and I looked a lot leaner. So this is just some things that I'm experimenting with at the moment. Kind of just to see how my body responds to uh, the amount of sodium that I can take in and how much carbs I can load so that I know exactly what to do for peak week since it turns out that there is no one size fits all um, tactic to peak week it's very individually dependent so it's different for everyone so I wanted to kind of test uh, where my limits are at and uh, what my body can play with once peak week arrives in uh, a couple of weeks So it is 1.24 p.m. and I'm about to break my fast with, of course, the Auburn bowl with 70 grams of Auburn, 40 grams of whey, 20 grams of cacao powder, 2 bananas, 400 milliliters of skimmed milk and 10 grams of almonds. The legendary Nutella sandwich with 2 slices of bread and 30 grams of Nutella. And, of course, a coffee to get caffeinated. And, of course, not to forget a little bit of Himalayan salt. In terms of my supplement use, I have a few staples that I pretty much use for the entire year. Now for me personally, this is a must since I live in the Netherlands and we do not get that much sun. So to get my test levels uh, up to par as for what it should be, I take some vitamin D3 since that plays a huge role in the production and regulation of your testosterone levels. Some daily vitamins. Now this is just a multivitamin uh, just to get my levels up to par as to what it should be as well. Some omega-3. Now I am not a big fish eater so taking some omega-3 fish oil uh, also gets my level up to par. And what I advise you guys to look at is a fish oil that has proper EPA and DHA levels which are the ethyl ester levels and it actually kind of goes in depth on the quality of the fish oil inside of the capsule. So magnesium citrate. Now what I advise you to look at is to actually get magnesium citrate and not magnesium oxide which is a more common magnesium supplement but magnesium oxide doesn't get absorbed in the human body as well as magnesium citrate and i've linked the study about this before but for convenience i'll uh, link it right here again and as stated right here it helps fight tiredness and it helps with muscle function and contributes to normal energy metabolism and muscle function so if you ever have uh, muscle cramps for example it could be a sign that uh, you're lacking some magnesium so it's always in your best interest to take magnesium to uh, help the muscles relax and recover after your workout. And then I have some green tea extract. Now, this is not for any particular reason, but green tea appears to be healthy. And uh, I just wanted to try it out and see if it has any benefits. And uh, so far, I'm not noticing that much difference, to be honest. So I don't think that I'm going to be continuing to take this when it's empty. All right, so I noticed that you guys really appreciated me uh, keeping it real in the last video in terms of my near binging experience but i'm willing to keep up this trend this past week has been quite rough on me uh, literally every time i entered the gym i felt like a zombie and i had uh, zero energy and i was pretty much acting like an asshole um, i actually noticed it but it's so hard to actually realize it as you're noticing it because i noticed that i was you know uh, acting a little bit different than normal or how i want to act but 
it's so easy to get sucked into that dieting mentality of like oh yeah i'm dieting so uh boohoo poor me right my girlfriend actually pointed this out to me and i thought to myself like why the hell am i doing this man this uh why why am i putting up such an act i actually forgot to enjoy the process i was so caught up in uh, how bad i was feeling and uh, how low energy i had and so forth that i was actually forgetting to enjoy the whole entire experience of you know working towards that bodybuilding stage so that was, that was kind of an eye-opener for me to be honest especially your loved ones your family your friends uh your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever you're into um those are the people that are supporting you and as i've mentioned before you are putting this on yourself you are choosing to go on a diet to to diet to low body fat percentages so uh don't be in that poor me mentality you are not your diet don't let your diet dictate your personality or the way that you act towards others and i know this sounds stupid because i just did that for about a week but i just had to put my ego to the side accept the fact that it happened just overcome and adapt that is the only thing that you can do and uh, that's the only thing that you should be doing because otherwise you can break down a lot more than you might want and especially in terms of relationships whether that be with friends or family or your loved ones or whatever being an asshole can do a lot of damage and i know dieting can be hard it can be stressful but keep in mind you're doing this to yourself so don't take it out on others and especially the people who are actually supporting you in uh, in your journey so that's just something that happened to me the past week and i'm actually glad that i got to learn from this experience and these are the experiences that you can actually take with you when you go on the diet next time Right guys, for, for this workout and this week in particular, as I'm uploading this video, I actually decided to take a kind of mini deload week. Now for those who have been following the channel and uh, this prep series in particular for a longer while, uh, you already know that I did this uh, a time before and I believe that's around 6 weeks ago or 7 weeks ago or something. And I noticed that I really needed it. Now since I am prepping, uh, I decided to not do a regular deload where you normally lower the weights to 70% of your normal working weight that you use on uh, your normal working sets. But in order for me to maintain a pretty adequate intensity and uh, also don't drop the volume too much while I'm fighting to maintain my muscle mass, I decided to uh, just lower the weight a little bit, just keep the intensity in there and just try to stay away from failure uh, for the time being, at least uh, for a couple more days. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video as well, I noticed that the past week, so the week before this, as you're watching this, uh, was pretty tough. Uh, literally every time that I entered the gym, I felt like a zombie. And all of the people in my surroundings noticed it. And they actually said it to me as well. You know, they noticed that I wasn't being my true self. When you're in this type of zone and uh, you want to get leaner, you want to get freaky lean. At least when I'm speaking for myself, I I, I want to give it all. I want to go 100 or even 200% in the gym and on my diet. And uh, that kind of got to the better of me. So I decided to run two consecutive refeed days. Uh, and not just to test the waters in terms of uh, what I can allow myself to have for peak week. But also because I needed them mentally. I feel so rejuvenated and energized right now, even after just two days of eating a little bit more carbs, since normally uh, on my shredding calories I eat 325 grams of carbs, uh, and my total caloric intake is 2700. And during these days of refeeding I ate anywhere from 500 to around 435 grams of carbs. And as you can see in the footage here uh, during the workout, you can see that I'm a lot fuller every exercise every movement felt so smooth i was so energetic and that just says to me that i really needed them of course like i said i also wanted to test the waters in terms of what i can allow myself to eat in order to fill up for the stage but also mentally man and hormonally i just needed them so i just got to thinking i have been dieting for around 11 or 12 weeks and even before I started my prep at 70 weeks out, I already had around one or two weeks where I ate in a flexible deficit. So I wasn't like strictly cutting, but there were some days where I was in a deficit to kind of prepare myself uh, mentally and physically for the prep that I'm doing right now. So I just came to think that I've been dieting for so long. I had one refeed day per week uh, ever since I believe the second week of prep. So 
in order for me to kill the next six weeks, the last final six weeks of this prep, I I allowed myself to eat, man. Just, uh, I set a cap for myself. So, like I said, that 535 grams of carbs mark was the last gram of carb for me. To be fair, if I had allowed myself to just eat uh, at libidum, so by feel, I would have probably eaten more. I'm not gonna lie. So, um, as you can see, uh, the carbs did me well. I pretty much absorbed all the carbs in all the right places. And from here on out, it's just game time. I'm gonna kill this prep. I'm gonna uh, smash my cardio session, stay on top of my diet, and just be more happy, more energetic overall, and not let the diet consume me. Because, as I mentioned in the video, you are not your diet, so that means that I am not my diet as well. <laughs> Alright guys, I am back home right now and you know it's time for the post-workout meal. So what I have right here is 400 grams of white cooked potatoes, around 170 grams of cut green beans and 180 grams of chicken. A huge salad along with some Nando's hot sauce because yes we finally got them. 250 grams of mixed frozen berries and of course I'm going to be adding this entire tub of quark on top of it. Alright, so I actually left you guys off there for a little bit, but it is the next day. It's 11.48 a.m. I've been working on a lot of meal plans and training programs for new clients. Since I've been getting a lot of applications, so to everyone who is uh, willing to work with me towards their goals, I appreciate you. Still fasted, but I'm not going to be breaking my fast since I have to be in the gym at around 1 p.m. I have to train a client, then do my own workout, come back home, have dinner, train another client, and... Um, that's pretty much it for today. So uh, basically an in and out of the gym day again. So I'm gonna drink my coffee, eat my meal and then head to the gym. Now these busy days are actually pretty convenient since when you're just running around doing your thing, you don't really think about food or hunger or whatever. So in order for me to get my mind off of the food and be a little bit less food focused, uh, being busy is pretty convenient. So here is the squat footage that I crushed today after uh, the workout clips that you just saw in the video. So in terms of my mini deload or sub maximal deload or however you want to call it, just a small drop in intensity I should say. I strived to hit 140 kilos or 315 pounds on the squat for 3 sets and I wanted to reach anywhere from 5 to 8 reps. Which is, for those who have my RPT Lee Mat program, the second set of the program so the first set i managed to hit eight reps and as i mentioned i just want to stay away from failure i just let my body recover from the past seven or eight weeks of uh, pretty intense training and just go through the motions control the movement and finish the sets and reps that i set for myself during this particular workout i'm pretty happy with how my form is looking I also mentioned in the previous video that you need to brace your core properly if you want to squat safely and effectively. And if you take a close look to my abdomen during this video, you can also see this uh, better now that I'm leaner. You can see that I'm breathing heavily towards my abdomen. Uh, especially, you know, you can't see it that closely because I'm wearing a belt. But you can see my stomach expanding as I take that deep breath. And that expanding of the abdomen, the expanding of the belly is what you should hold on to as you squat. So I take a deep breath, I keep that breath in my belly and I breathe out as I come out of the hole of the squat. So 
uh, keep that in mind. I got a lot of DMs and questions in the comments uh, regarding that technique that I covered in my last vlog. So just take a deep breath, try to breathe as deeply or low as possible towards your abdomen and hold that, keep your core tight and then go through the motion of the squat. So I'm currently editing the video that you're watching right now and something just came up to me man uh, When I started this prep the amount of support and the amount of growing support that I got from all of you guys Whether it be on Instagram or the YouTube comments has grown so much And it's so weird to think that the majority of you guys don't even know me personally and you guys show me so much support It's it's unreal often it's it's unbelievable actually when you actually get to think of it you know social media uh, you decide to follow someone you decide to go on someone's profile and think hey that's a badass dude or uh, I really like this dude I like his mindset and his style or his way of uh, making content for example you decide to follow him or her it's amazing to see how much support some of you give me it's very humbling to say the least you know I try to provide you guys with value, valuable content, valuable information, anything in that particular that will help you reach your goals in a more enjoyable and sustainable way and actually apply the principles that actually matter the most to your training and the amount of support that you give me guys is unreal. I've been getting so many comments from you guys saying uh, that my channel is underrated, that I am underrated and I really truly appreciate you guys telling me that the way it's going right now I can see a lot of growth in the channel my subscriber count is going up tremendously ever since I started prep and just uploading videos taking you guys along with my journey and uh, I just hope that I can deliver the same kind of value towards you guys because like I said the amount of support that you give me guys truly helps me out uh, to continuing to do this uh, do the YouTube thing make Instagram posts and uh, just deliver value man because to be honest that is my passion ever since I was like uh, I believe 10 years old I remember uh, being in elementary school and saying that I wanted to become a psychiatrist simply because I liked to talk to people and help people when they were sad or whatever so that kind of passion it may it may have taken a different turn because I'm now an online coach and uh, a youtuber but um, it just goes to show I'm, I'm living my passion, I'm doing everything that I'm truly passionate about, helping you guys uh, reach your goals and perhaps make your fitness journey a lot more enjoyable and sustainable and yeah I just I just really appreciate you guys. That's, uh, that's basically all that I wanted to make clear with this message. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did please be sure to smash the like button because it really helps out the channel grow. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel for so much more content coming really soon i'm out guys six more weeks to go and peace out guys see you in the next one